Chill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig Studio. We're going to take a look at audio clips, uh, more specifically the fades at the beginning and the end of audio clips. Now um, we have two clips here. Let's go ahead and play these here. Yeah. There's two ways to access the little clip handles, if you will, the fade handles, I guess you could call them. Um, one of them is to, when you're folded up here, you can double click this and then uh, this will open up in the, the edit. And then if you take your cursor and go right below the name, you'll get that little uh, white arrow. Now, another way to do this is that you can actually do it right here in the arranger. If you make this so the arranger's wider, same thing, right below the name, the clip name, right below the header at the very beginning you'll see there's that that white triangle so you can pull that and do a fade right there on the arranger and then same thing at the back at the beginning of the next one pretty cool uh, pretty slick there of course now in bitwig 2 you can widen these so if you want to get a, a better view of what's going on so uh yeah the fact is you can do you can do your uh your fades in the arranger or you can do them in the uh the edit editor pane down here as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and just use the editor pane for now just so you can see some basic stuff. Right against the edge of the clip, right below the header, uh, you'll see the double arrow. And now if you pull to the right, you're going to get a fade. Now this is a linear fade, meaning that it's straight. The great thing about this is this will actually lock to your grid. And then if you go down here, you actually have the option to curve this. Okay, so you can curve this. Now, if you uh, hit control and click, control click will reset it to linear. A uh, nice thing to know. Again, you can bend this, and then if you want to get back to a linear, you just hit control click. It'll go back to a nice linear uh, ramp there. Also, if you uh, hit alt click, you're going to get an S curve here. Okay, so that's kind of nice. And then again, if you alt click, it'll go back to a standard curve. So alt click goes between a standard curve and an S curve. Control click goes between a linear and a curve. And then also you have those same options over here in the inspector panel. If I select this clip, you'll see that uh, you'll have the, you have the option to really control your fade up here and switch between an S curve and uh, you know whatever you need to do right there. So yeah, you have that option up in the inspector panel, but you also have it right here on the timeline or in this case, the inspector panel. So good stuff. The nice thing about this is, like I was saying, you can actually do this in the uh, in the arranger now. Which, if you zoom way in here, it's actually a really good way to do it. You know, you got your your S curve in there, but the ability to just quickly do your fades right there in the arranger is pretty cool. I really like that. That's a that's a nice effect. So now you can get a really you know real nice swish there. very nice so and then again if you take these triangles you go all the way to the beginning all the way to the end it resets the clips how they are very nice very handy very clear cut very precise um, now the only other thing is crossfades now with crossfades how to get a good crossfade is you're gonna go between the two clips you'll see the, the two arrows an arrow for each clip so if you click on this and then you drag it towards the other clip you'll get a nice crossfade here so let's listen to this Now you can also do the opposite. And then once you're in crossfade, you can, you know, curve these. You can really manipulate the crossfade just how you want it. You can drag it out longer. Um, you know, the, uh, the amount of options within the crossfade are pretty nice I think let's listen to this very nice and then of course if you hit control you'll get uh, reset these to a, just a nice normal linear crossfade this one happens to be an S curve here um, you want to have that X
and then of course you can take that way way down also but that's pretty much it remember control click resets to linear alt click changes to an s curve and then the crossfade you basically pull the triangle at the beginning or the end and then pull it the opposite way to get a nice crossfade in there so uh pretty cool stuff um pretty useful tools here visually it's kind of a, a little abstract because you know you have a one clip that looks like it's physically moving but there are contents of the crowd applause right here in other words if we just uh if we just loop this part you can see that visually it looks like this clip is not there but you can see audibly that it is crossfaded within this clip even though this clips a different color what would be nice is to put maybe a gradient <laughs> that's pretty advanced stuff but maybe bitwig could put a nice gradient between this brown and this blue color so you can really see that crossfade visually but you can hear it which this is also a very nice kind of sound design tool as well is taking two sounds and then intermingling them anyway tons of options as far as crossfading the crossfading is very uh, very nice and actually a good way to to create new sounds take two sounds and create a new sound so that's pretty much it that's how the fades work the audio fades uh, the cross fades again right below the header at the beginning you'll get that little white triangle and then you can fade your clip there hit alt to go to curve alt goes between an s curve and a normal curve and then control goes between a linear and a curve so hopefully you learned something again a quick tip on audio fades seems simple but there are little little caveats in there that are helpful to know along the way if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up comment let me know what you would like to see as far as uh, videos and um, yeah see you guys again thanks now